Hey folks, Quillington here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, our beautiful, wonderful fortress of Sword Clean, which is now considered a metropolis, which is just great. Look at this. So created wealth, a quarter million dwarf bucks worth of created wealth estimated, uh, imported wealth 62, exported wealth 36,000. Actually, that reminds me, how have we done for gifting? Um, yeah, that's our site. Humble Inks, that's our group over here. Have we offered? We've offered them a thousand dwarf bucks worth of gifts. I think we, if we want to maybe become the capital at some point, I think we have to do more of that. Um, the other thing we've got going on. So, I mean, things are going swell. Our population has swelled. Ah, God, I'm so funny. Uh, we're digging out some more bedrooms. We're still slowly in doing some engravings over here. How's our engraving skill coming along? We got four people on for a little bit more speed. Yeah, the spill the skills are still slow. Like it's actually kind of appalling to me how um how long it's taking us for de to develop this. I just suppose it would be very convenient if on a migrant wave. No, dabbling is all we've got. We want like a legendary engraver to show up in a migrant wave. I would still like to go and get some people with their skills practiced up. Like part of me wants to just set it to everyone does this so we can quickly get that done, but it really would benefit from some training. And yeah, hopefully with our newly arranged crafting for our armor and weapons and stuff, we'll end up with some uh, some very powerful masterwork goods, if at all possible. Oh, barely done digging over here. So digging deeply and greedily. OK, so we have dug all the way down to floor 51. And we didn't actually hit any caverns along the way. It's possible we dodged cavern layer two somewhere in there. Um, and the exploratory tunnels I've got over here, this is at the priority seven. So really, really low priority. So it's not going to done, be done until anything else is done. Do I want to let my miners finish mining up here? I think the answer is yes. I think I do want them to dig out these extra bedrooms and stuff before I go and dig more deeply and greedily because I was thinking oh, I can do a, a high priority job to dig deeper down or something like that. But I think we're going to be just fine waiting for this to happen first. Yeah, I think that's going to be for the best. Are you engraving? You were doing something a second ago, but I didn't spot it. It wasn't saying sleep, was it? We do have a dormitory here. Yeah. Okay, meeting hall here. Yeah, they still need a lot of value. Which we're going to do with some, sta <laughs> excuse me, some statues. Although I think I will put some engraving there now. Um, and let me put it fairly. Let's carve our, yeah, we can carve our own fortifications with this. Let's do a high priority engraving over here. Which depending on where the dwarves are standing, they might engrave from the other side and and assuming things haven't changed in this version of Dwarf Fortress, engravings are still unidirectional. Um, so some of these engravings might end up being on this side and benefit the temple rather than the guild hall. But we'll still get the floor and things and that's going to be all right. There we go. Some hunting of the giant mole. And I had actually seen the giant mole being combat a little while ago. Yeah, I think um, I should probably do because this is probably from one of our migration waves. Uh, name. You have professions? Huh. That's not sorting it by type of animal, is it? Despite pet stuff? No. It must be setting it by like stray versus war dog versus hunting dog. Hmm. Okay. I don't particularly care about the bunnies one way or another. You know, we'll do this, we'll do that. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and butcher these. A lot of these won't be starving to death, but that's okay. Um, get the boars for now. And yeah, at least I can't butcher the ones who are pets. Although we could geld, which actually, let's do that. Let's geld the pet bunny. Um, the dogs are still okay, although... Unless I start training them as warhounds, maybe we do want to limit the number of dogs as well. So we're not really doing much with them. But I might do warhounds, so we'll just hold this for now. And do, 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 do. So yeah, I might geld the cats, though. There's a kitten here. That is the geld button, right? Yes. Okay. 
that gets gelded at the Farmer's Workshop, which we do definitely have one. So the only things that aren't being butchered, like anything that can be gelded is either being gelded or butchered unless it's currently a dog. Because apparently we're going to keep those or or the uh, the boars. I think I've got that right. OK. Let's hope we have no disaster surgery. Oh, we got an extra unhappy face, which makes sense. I mean, there's some combat going on. Some people might be seeing some some bad things. We might have had some extra deaths, too. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm still confused why we can see the bones over these coffins here. Sorry, if someone um, answered that question last episode, uh, I'm recording this one back to back with the last one, so. Build more of those. Oh, do we have uh, burial pods ready to go? There, thank you. Okay. And then I may as well tomb these rooms over here. Okay. This, I think, this one here is empty? Oh no. It's here, but there's no body. Maybe it still needs to be brought, or maybe... Is it possible that a dwarf gets assigned to one of these, but never actually gets buried because there's no body? Hmm. I think what I want to do is I want to make like a Hall of the Forgotten on the other side. Which is basically going to be the same thing. But it's going to be spaces for slabs. Which actually can be shaped a fair bit different here. Because we're not going to need the doors. There we go. Hall of the Lost more than the Forgotten. We're explicitly trying to not forget you. Alright, we're getting popcorning again for some combat. Oops. Alright, let's settle down. I did see some hunting. I also saw a Dwarven Child get involved in that, which is probably bad for whatever the Dwarven Child was fighting. Kids, man, they're brutal. Also in Dwarf Fortress. I love our little Rhino Man. And he's working for us, too. Storing items. Uneasy dwelling upon seeing a troglodyte's dead body. Yeah. Actually, is something, if people go to the surface, they might see the dead bodies over here. I wonder if they should be walled off. I think I have done that before. All right, those are sparring commands, which is fine. There you go, a bunch of animals getting slaughtered, which is okay. Bangs. Giant ulm. Jeweler. Okay, okay. Masterpiece bauxite mug. Beautiful. Okay. We haven't seen complaints about a lack of steel for a little bit. Now, we do have just one person each to make armor and weapons now, but hopefully that's not actually a problem. You know, that might be slowing things down, but if we can get some high quality, that'll be okay. Ooh, there's lots of bars sitting in this smelter. Are we out of storage for bars? I mean, I would think not. We do have a um, wheelbarrow. Yes, okay, good. Wheelbarrows for the fancy stone here. Um, ooh, gold nuggets. I think what I'm going to do is at one of these, I'm just going to set up, I'm not going to set up a work order for it. I'm going to go and set up a repeating job for some of these other things. Sterling silver. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're smelting Galena, which is going to be for silver. I don't know if we're doing Cassiterite. We may or may not be, I'm not sure. Uh, Bismuth Knight. Garnierite. Just looking for various materials we have around. I don't think we ever set one for Magnetite, which is another iron bearing ore. And yeah, I'll just go and put these repeating jobs over here at this one place. And um, this is going to mean we're going to need plenty of like coke production and things. Keep up. You know, I might do. Oh, that's the wood furnace. I might just put in a repeating job at each one of these for coke and lignite. I know we've got it through the work order as well, but let's go and make sure we've got a huge amount of both ready to go. There you go. Just these repeating ones. They'll they'll cancel themselves if they ever run out, but that's going to be good. And that should keep it supplied for here. This will give us access to a little bit more silver. Oh, yeah. Native gold. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, hold on a sec. What, what started all this native gold? Because I saw that we had some. We can make some golden statues and things. I don't know how much we've got, but yeah, we'll set up a little automated job, a repeating job, just to try to burn through that with some amount of rapidity. Okay. I wonder what my frame rate is. 
There's always a thing that you would normally keep on in the previous version to know if things are... Uh, show frames per second. To know if things are still running fairly smoothly in your fort. And actually... That's pretty good. I have to say, it does. I don't know what they did with the Steam version, but it does feel that like it runs a lot better than the classic version. I, I'm sure they did some optimizations of something somewhere in there. Uh, by the way, these two numbers, the one at the left, I believe, is the speed that the simulation is running at. The one at the right, I believe, is the visual frames per second. So it doesn't necessarily update a visual frame every time the simulation updates. So yeah, our actual visual frame rate isn't great. I mean, overall, it's getting a little rough. It doesn't help. The biggest um, cost, typically, for your frame rate is usually pathfinding. So opening up cavern layers and things like that and having convoluted floor plans does tend to slow things down. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this, given we are nearly at the population cap. 200 is the population cap. So, and this is, this is running pretty well. And that's with us having, you know, some number of dogs and cats wandering. Not a ridiculous number, but some. So we're going to spring. So caravans can start being a thing. I wonder when the next time we'll get uh, raided or sieged will be. So far they haven't been too big. But at some point, the goblins are going to show up with something pretty serious. And we are, we do have a neighboring goblin civilization we're at war with. They might be raiding other sites instead of us. But I think as our wealth gets more and more impressive, we're more likely to be a target. And they're going to send more and more people at a time. I mean, if you can call goblins people. Yeah, I think they're all smoothing from, quote-unquote, the wrong side here, but it's not the end of the world. What are our miners up to? I still wish I could click on them from here and zoom to them. Combat drill, combat drill. Oh, yeah, that's part of it. I do want them to train up. I did turn mining on for Muart people, although they're not necessarily super duper skilled at it. And they're not they're not doing this to a exclusion. OK, you're a great miner. I will go ahead and make it be exclusive. And this as well, although as a ca militia captain, you're almost certainly doing a fair amount of military training somewhere in there. I could go and switch them to another schedule where they're not spending as much time training. But I kind of do want them to develop those skills if we're going to go fighting. Have we had any recent deaths over here in the military? Because last episode we went and Build these rules back in. And there hasn't been any major fighting, but a little bit in the dungeon, in the uh, cavern levers. Okay, no, we're good. Snatcher. You know what? I haven't checked in a little bit. What's our, um, okay, not allowed to export thrones. That's fine. Not planning on it. Yeah, your room still needs to be fancier. You do need your own tomb. Let me dig out a, a noble's tomb area over here. So we're going to think about maybe like a five by five zone the super fancy nobles are definitely going to need more than this let's make this a very high priority but five by five is going to be fine to start with and in fact i think i might i'm just going to spiffy it up there we go we'll do that i guess we're gonna need we actually need one extra coffin because I think I asked for exactly the right amount to fill all the tombs that we currently have. Let's put one in there. I'm assuming the snatchers are just being taken care of on the surface, but... Hopefully. Is it? Oh, that's the snatcher warning. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, we don't have any plant cloth. Did I set this one up as a dye industry? Hold on, we'll have to check on that, but... Temple cups. Hang on, do I not have a... Oh, there we go, pigtails. Although it's out of season. Um, I think we might want to go get an extra uh, workshop, farming, farm plot. I'm going to set up another farm plot over here for more, um, more pigtail. I guess next time... Ooh, soldiering. Yeah, sure. Eradicating monsters. Sounds good. Next time we get a dwarven caravan, we will specifically ask for them to bring more cloth, more thread with them. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We go into labors, standing orders, weave dyed thread. I'm going to set it to weave all thread. 
It's possible our dying industry is just not keeping up. Fey mood for a dwarven child. Okay. And yeah, that can definitely happen. Perhaps dwarf workshop. Pretty typical for the children because they don't um they don't really have much in the way of mootable skills, so I think they'll always do a craft, which I think is always available to a dwarf if they don't have an otherwise um moodable mootable skill. Can I get more? Oh, traps. Cage traps going on. Use closest material is fine. There we go. Get outside of each door. Get plenty over there. I mean, I could put all kinds of cage traps out in these little tunnels and things too. Especially these little bottlenecks. Just likely to catch random stuff that's wandering around. Okay, out of material, but that's okay. I did set up the uh, huge queue for a bunch of these, but pretty busy. Full well, citizen. Absolutely, guy cast. You're already here. You may as well sign up for all the possible jobs and labors. Okay, mysterious construction has begun. That's good. I'm just going to set pigtail. And nothing else. That way it doesn't it doesn't get interrupted partway through or anything weird like that. I mean, it's not the season right now, but summer and fall it will be, and we'll hopefully get a little bit more going on. Is there still some crap sitting in here? Oh yeah, these things, don't. we don't actually have a place where we haul shirt and fire clay. So that's okay. Uh, sure, yes, and... Hunting aardvarks! Of course we're hunting aardvarks! Why would we hunt anything else? It's our favorite, uh, it's our favorite meat. Okay, this tomb has been dug. So door, door, I want to actually select my material here um, because what I want to do is see, hmm, I guess that's the best quality door we've got. <laughs> All right, it'll have to do. And then burial here. There we go. Oh, well, let's do a microcline one. I'm, possibly our noble had a uh, preferred material and we could have used that, but... The important thing is this is a high quality one. Uh, I'm going to do a fairly high priority smooth over here. I said I didn't need to do that corner, but that's fine. Get the smooth as quickly as possible. And... Ooh! An olive wood ring. Okay, we'll take a look at it in just a second. <gasps> okay, hold on, pause. Okay, tomb created, done. Okay, yeah, I don't want to just let anyone go in here. This specifically has to be set to Rimtar, the Baron of Sword Cleans. So now he's got a tomb. He's not impressed with it yet, but it's going to get cleaned up now. Okay, that can be closed. That's fine. There we go. Was seen being stolen. This is our most expensive artifact right here. Who stole it? Report crime. This person is reporting a crime. You're not holding it, are you? Because sometimes people will... It's like Among Us, right? You'll do a fake report. Um, we have a Captain of the Guard. Yes. The theft of the distracting respect. Unsolved. Let's interrogate Sotal. So, okay, if I'm thinking this correctly, yeah. So, Dishmob and Sith have both accused Sotal of theft. Or at least being arranged a part of it. Is, is this Sotal? You are currently holding on to Ash. You are definitely guilty. But you're part... You're part of my fortress. I always thought it was outsiders that stole your stuff. Confused. Where's Sotal? Is that Sotal here? 
Yeah, okay. No job. Are you going to get interrogated here? Let me go, just in case my captain of the guard is in the military. Uh, let me set everything to off-duty. So no one is busy. Okay, you're not leaving. That's good. What's your labor? Are you set to only do... Okay, you only do stone crafting. Which is why you're currently idle, I guess. And met need excitement. Well, things are about to get exciting here. Saw solo pillar labor. Are these the same Sotal? Is this a weird um, uh, translation into English? I think that's probably the case. Interview scheduled. Yeah, but when is it going to happen here? Yeah, Pillar Labor. Okay, yeah. This is the same person. We know you have it on you. Are you just like, you're just coveting it? You have a room. I wonder, is it possible your room doesn't have like a personal... Oh, you've got a coffer in there. You're married and everything. What's your deal, man? Oh, you reset the profession? Of course you did. Why would you remember my... My sorting order? That would be crazy. And way too convenient. Got my eye on you, Sotal. Right over here. When are you going to get interrogated? Because the captain of the guard should bring you to their office. I guess I should check. Captain of the guard. Yeah, they've got everything. And we do have a dungeon built. I'm assuming Sotal is plotting... I guess I should check the captain of the guard, right? Who's our captain of the guard? Uh, Atir Geblalor. Atir, are you busy? Geblalor, you're harvesting plants. That's interesting. Even though I have you set to a specialized and only do tasks that match, you do harvest plants still, which is apparently... And I'm going to do this just in case this was interfering with the policing stuff. There you go, going and making rock mugs. Ooh, it's slow when you're hauling chert. Okay, well, I, I think I'm satisfied that Sotal isn't trying to just escape the fortress. I'm less satisfied about the fact that our captain of the guard doesn't seem to be rushing to do the interrogations that I might want them to do. So now you're detailing a wall. Why? Why is that? Why are you not doing the interrogation? Is it a different role? Is the, the dungeon master do it as opposed to the captain of the guard? Okay, let's pick a dwarf that has no no jobs right now like no titles so Adel over here congratulations you're now gonna be set as the dungeon master just in case there's something I haven't quite picked up on here we're gonna do a high priority mine um I can't remember what these bedroom shapes were and I can't really see them with the stupid engraving like overlay I don't know if there's a way to stop that I think I was doing kind of rounded corners for things. They don't all have to match, though. Oh, which is kind of a crazy thought, but it's kind of true. Can I hide designations? Anyway, I'm going to cancel the corners. Because I can always dig them after.
Yeah, just use closest material is fine. I'm mostly interested in maybe getting the office set up for the dungeon master. And we can plan as campaigns. Ooh, migrants. Which probably means some am some animals to um, butcher, but... Able... Share. I, can, I guess with the noble things, it might be important to try to pick the better material. Since it'll help bus boost the, uh, the room. Um, for the dining room, I might not be as concerned because we're actually just putting lots more furniture in here. So there'll be a lot more value being added in. Oh, did we not have it or did it eat my click? Okay, out of chairs, that's fine. Um, we know that they always want a little weapon rack and an armor stand. Okay, and I can assign this room immediately. Office. Dungeon Master. Oh yeah, the doors. I think I already tried that. Fingers crossed that this will lead to some investigation actually occurring. Now, you can prevent your artifacts from being stolen by outsiders by not having publicly accessible taverns and things. You can set these rules, right? So on my tavern over here. Um, yeah, right here. I can say who's allowed. So here we allowed visitors from outside. Otherwise, we can say long-term residents only, citizens only. So you do that for your guild halls, your temples, your libraries, all those things. And you can you can have fewer outsiders randomly visiting you, which should reduce the threat of artifacts from outside forces. I've never seen a dwarven citizen actually do this. That one's new to me. I mean, maybe I should just enable engraving for anyone. But I don't want to. I guess what I could do is I could um, increase the priority of the engraving here. I'd set it really low for these rooms because I was trying to get my dwarves to be trained up first. But it is taking forever, and in the meantime, we're not benefiting from any quality increase, even if it is crap. So, yeah, let me go ahead and make a change here. We're doing a little bit more engraving than we need to, but that's fine. Super high priority. Yeah, we do have some in here. That'll hopefully get that done. Okay. 195. Well, we're almost at our pop cap. Crazy. Crazy. All right. Our civilian bedroom's being made. Crundle is scratching a cat. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, did this get assigned? It did get assigned. Sport of Thrones prohibited. That's okay. And yeah, you still need some fancy stuff. Actually, that'd be a good candidate for engraving. I'm going to put it priority two here. We'll do that. We'll see about putting some silver sca statues and stuff in there later, too. What's all this? Jet? Okay. These places are finally maybe starting to catch up here. Um... I think uh, I was going to go and build at least one more stone workers. I might build three over here. I might spam out some more carpenters workshops too, I don't know. What am I doing on logs? Okay, we got lots over here, tons of things in the cages. Oh right, the mining, that's part of the reason the mining is a little slow. This is probably priority four, right? Yeah, really this could have been lower priority, although the job's almost done. Maybe what I'll do is I will put another mining job here, priority seven, so which is the lowest priority. Do all that over here. So dwarves who are otherwise not doing real mining will go and continue to clear this and make us some extra stone that we can use for things. Okay, this is coming along well. Mm, need empty cage. We do have a bunch of jobs for that. 
Plant cloth is still short. Okay. There might be another artifact that needs to get put on a um, on a pedestal. But at this point, at, at a certain point, I actually don't mind if we're selling the artifacts. It's not a big deal. Now these mugs over here. Yeah, we got some decent quality mugs and they are being encrusted. So this, I think, is a masterwork mug that has been excellently um, encrusted with gems or encrusted with excellent gems. One or the other masterful petrified, petrified wood mug, which is a kind of stone for our purposes, created by Fikud Irlogium. It's encircled with bands of superior quality pearl cut milk horses. Yeah, that thing is going to be worth tons in trade. We're going to be able to buy. We're going to very quickly get to the point where we can buy absolutely everything that a caravan brings. Although with three caravans a year, I guess eventually that'll kind of become a problem. Maybe just to keep the drama up. Or wait, we don't get any elven caravans here, do we? No, we only get two caravans a year. We just get the human one in the summer and the dwarven one in the fall. We must just not be close to any elves, which I guess is fine. OK, how's the criminal justice system? Implicated. Burr Swallow Dungeons was in implicated. Oh, Sotal confessed. Sotal confessed. Um, there you go. Interrogation report. Perfect. Interrogation of Sotal Obakareth, blacksmith in the spring of 104. Uh, Aether Gleblalor, the captain of the guard. So it is not the dungeon master. It is the captain of the guard. Finally got around to it. Met with subject. Misrepres misrepresented facts surrounding case in order to elicit information. Subject had a trusting nature and agreed. Social um, traits of the interrogator and interrogatee are very... Um, they, they come into play for here. Subject confessed to the theft. In the midsummer of 103, Burr swallowed dungeons uh, as the human, the bard... Bar sw bear swallow dungeons of the cruelty of patterning a corrupted subject in order to have an agent sword cleans so this is one of our visitors this bard here was one of the visitors and convinced poor old Sodal to participate burr swallow dungeons met with subject and made a theft a threat the plan worked subject revealed that in the midsummer 103 subject plotted to steal the distracting respect under the influence of bear swallow dungeons okay actors look at this look at this organizations Oh my god. Look at this too. I don't I the fact that it's text. I, this must have been in the previous version. I don't know, was it? Look at this. Boss, thief. And then the plots to steal this. The organization is just Burr Swallow Dungeons as a solo organization. Okay. Um well, let's interrogate Burr. Oh, I don't think Burr's here anymore. We could interrogate random people, but okay, we're going to convict Sotal for his part in the crime. Now over here, can I convict Burr? No, I don't think they're here anymore. I think they left. The question is, does Sotal still have the item or did he hand it off to Burr? He no longer has it. I wonder if he offloaded it to Burr. Or if there's any chance it's still here. It was Ash. No, it's gone. Or it might still be in its hidden state. But the fact that Burr's not here. Hmm. Now we can get rumors and stuff on the world map of artifacts. They're distracting respect. Location unknown. Click to recover. Yeah, but we don't know where it is. Like I could send... You know, but I don't think it can be done. Whereas if we clicked on one of these that we know about. I mean, this makes a mission location unknown. I'm, I mean, this can't possibly work, right? OK, let me reset this. Don't I don't think this can work. Yeah, recover the distracting respects. Respect, but we don't know where it is. So I'm kind of confused as why it appears to be letting me set a mission up. But I'm assuming the dwarves won't ever go anywhere. But yeah, you can do expeditions on the world map to raid other sites, which we might do at some point. But at some point, we'll get news as to where this is. We could send it, our, our people out to try to recover it. 
I guess for now, I'll just, uh... Oh, you've got the mission. I'm gonna let it go, because I'm really curious as to what the heck is about to happen here. Oh, aardvark hunting continues. It's aardvark season. Duck season. Aardvark season. Duck season. Is there a count? So in classic, there was a count of how many idlers were around. I mean, most people are doing something. There's a few no jobs in here. It's implied you're going to go and recover, but are you just going to wander out in the world? Hope you get lucky. Ah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe I should put everyone on engraving, even if it's shit engraving. I know I keep talking about it, but it keeps being frustratingly slow. And I think despite the fact that they're flagged as do only this one thing, I don't think they do only the one thing. I think they're still doing other tasks. I mean, admittedly, some of these are everyone does this, but then with the, you know, only do tasks that match their workshop assignments, work details and occupations. Still haven't quite figured out the new labor system. Definitely not as clear cut. What is this made out of? Oh, fungi wood. Cool. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and make more of these uh, stone workers. So we can just spam out some jobs in bulk here. It's going to be handy. So now I'm wondering that maybe maybe our um, equipment's not being made very quickly either. Despite I told person this is your only job. But that might not actually be what's happening here. It's so like, Noble, what are you actually doing, Noble? Armor. Okay, you're asleep. That's pretty legit, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can. I can, whoa, look at that monster slayer. That's cool. You're meditating on peace. I mean, you're allowed to do that in your downtime. I'm just wondering if you're doing it otherwise. And Fit God is working on the gems, which or the, the mugs. Can I scroll to here? That's the mining over here. Right, that's sort of stalled out. Well, I have no high priority dig down job. Okay, let's set another high priority dig down job and then we'll find out what happens to it next time and you know what let's dig all the way down we there you go minus 113 is the lowest we can go on this particular map it will vary a little bit depending on uh, various like map generations and where the ground tile is and everything like that but we'll dig down here we probably won't make it all the way here um it is, I guess, conceivable that we miss literally every cavern layer in the magma sea and everything. And then at some point, we'll just hit bedrock. And we won't be able to go any lower. But that'll, be, in any case, if we do get all the way here, which I don't expect, then what we do is we'll just back up a few Z levels and do some sideways branches and see what happens. But that'll have to wait until next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching, and I'm going to see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>